Hi, I'm Nick Beachy Newman, I'm a consultant breast surgeon and I work here at the Harley Street Breast Clinic at 148 Harley Street and at the London Bridge Hospital in the Shard. I also do a clinic in the city at uh, 31 Old Broad Street. Although the most important part of my role is the surgical treatment of breast cancer, when I'm not operating, I also run a number of uh, one-stop breast clinics. So these clinics for any Body who has any concern about their breasts, such as a breast lump, breast pain, changes in the nipple, um, nipple discharge. And at a one-stop breast clinic, we're able to do all of the investigations that are required to um, reach a definitive diagnosis. So that may be a mammogram, an ultrasound, or a needle biopsy. And at the um, breast clinics that I run, um, we are able to do those tests within about two hours and give you all of the results of those tests by the time you leave. My areas of expertise in research include the avoidance of mastectomy in patients who have been diagnosed with breast cancer, central node biopsy, which I helped to initially introduce in Europe in around 1995, nipple discharge and the diagnosis and treatment of breast cancer in younger women, which means under the age of 35. If you have a breast problem, feel free to contact my team and book an appointment at a one-stop breast clinic. Nipple discharge can be caused by breast cancer or by DCIS, but in fact, um, a big majority of patients with nipple discharge do not have either of those conditions. Perhaps the most common um, reason for nipple discharge is either uh, physiological changes which cause a little more secretion in the milk ducts um, or um, a sterile inflammation of the um, larger mammary ducts behind the nipple. This is called periductal mastitis and is um, not an infection, it's just a sterile inflammation. So typically um, both physiological nipple discharge and periductal mastitis cause a bilateral um, discharge from multiple ducts on the tip of each nipple and for periductal mastitis um, often this is um, different colours so sometimes it's a little bit of green discharge, sometimes it's yellow, sometimes it can be clear or kind of milky. The next most common cause of nipple discharge is a duct papilloma. This uh, is particularly a common cause in younger women. Duct papillomas uh, typically cause um, unilateral discharge from a single duct orifice on the tip of the nipple. It's said that um, nipple discharge from duct papillomas is crystal clear and that's um, a very good um, indication I think. Sometimes duct papillomas do bleed so duct papillomas can certainly cause blood stain nipple discharge or even just pure blood as discharge. Duct papillomas um, are benign but they do have a pre-malignant potential and so the diagnosis of a duct papilloma usually um, means that that lesion should be removed surgically. Nipple discharge um, can be caused, however, by breast cancer and also by precancerous changes, which is called DCIS. This type of nipple discharge is usually just on one side and it normally comes out from just one um, duct orifice on the tip of the nipple. It can be yellow in colour, um, not usually the very clear colour, and sometimes is blood stained. It tends to um, persist and just come out by itself. If you do have nipple discharge, do see your GP, um, and um, it's certainly something that can be uh, easily checked. But usually, uh, it is not a serious problem. Cancer can cause nipple discharge and so can precancerous changes called DCIS. However, um, most nipple discharge isn't due to malignancy. Uh, probably about um, less than 10% of nipple discharge is actually caused by cancerous or precancerous changes. There are lots of other causes, um, benign causes for most um, people who have nipple discharge. Some women um, have inverted nipples almost from the time of breast development. This type of nipple inversion can be just on one side or both sides. 
It's caused uh, by the development of the breast, uh, which is uh, slightly out of sync between the milk ducts and the breast tissue itself. If the milk ducts don't develop um, quite as much as the breast tissue, they're too short and the nipple remains kind of pulled in. Developing nipple discharge um, later in life um, as a new symptom uh, certainly can be a sign of breast cancer. However, more often it's just due to um, shortening of the milk ducts caused by sterile inflammation um, beneath the nipple. However, developing um, an inverted nipple, particularly if it's just on one side, um, is a thing that should be investigated and you should see your GP. Nipple inversion can be a sign of breast cancer and so it is an important uh, symptom to see your GP about. Most often in those cases uh, there will be a lump close to or behind the nipple uh, which is causing nipple inversion and just um, as breast cancer lumps can pull the skin inwards uh, they can also pull on the milk ducts and this causes the nipple inversion. However remember that most um, people who develop an inverted nipple is not caused by breast cancer.